unfortunately i woke up pretty late today this is my night outfit i guess <laughs> do we even count those okay anyway i woke up pretty late and because yesterday i went out i think i'll have a vlog on that i'm gonna challenge myself to do like only ballet video well not only but like four ballet ballet videos this month because those do so well for me i also think that i might do what is it called when you put something in the i can't think right now when you put something in the title and it's actually not the truth like i might put like ballerina daily life but i'm not actually a ballerina i just I started ballet as an adult and I love it and I'm trying to get better at it but I also have a lot of health issues. It kind of hinders my journey um, as far as like consistently going and that's a whole other story. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I get ready and I'm also going to try to film a TikTok at the same time. So let's see how that ends up turning out. Unfortunately, I didn't get to make my coffee today. I might keep filming afterwards like me getting my coffee and me getting my donut. Um, I'm actually not my donut, my croissant. And I, I'm probably also going to, oh, and then I'm gonna have um, a doctor's appointment, which is like, it's not fun, but you know, um, it's my real life. So I still have like an hour till I'm fully like gone and ready. I'm gonna go ahead and change into my clothes and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I've been wearing um, because it's kind of colder outside. Normally I just go in my tights. Honestly, I could probably just go in my tights, but we're kind of trying to switch it up and trying to just give you guys more content and diverse content last night i totally like fell asleep with my makeup on and i've been doing that like off and on and it's kind of like my skin's just like it was doing great and right now it's not but yeah i'm also trying to film a tiktok at the same time typically for ballet i don't wear any makeup um but for this video i probably put will do on a little brow i haven't washed my face quite yet i think i'll wash it after normally i try to like work out before ballet like do some cardio or something or like maybe a yoga or something but today's not the day and did i already say i'm trying to film a tiktok while i'm doing this <laughs> it's like too many things okay so i have like a few minutes before i have to get there and again i'm filming that tiktok guys this is so hard and i have like some of my clothes laid out on the bed actually i want to show you what i'm wearing i hope this video is short because i don't know how the heck i ended up making a super long video um last week which was like 50 minutes long but this is sort of my outfit right now you guys i have been consistent with yoga i just had to change my mindset which um like changing it as far as like thinking that you have all this at least I do. I've been having all this like really, and especially going into ballet. I have this like anxious energy hanging over me for like most of the day, I guess, um, in the past few weeks. So I have to think about it like when I exercise, I'm, you know, using that energy. I'm converting that energy into something positive, basically. So in that way, I get up every day to go work out. Or not every day, but every day that I can. Um, right now, it's been kind of every other day, but to me, like, that's pretty good. So, if that's you, you guys, I totally feel you. I've been having to put on all my clothes, though, and then, like, film here, and then film um, my TikTok. So, take off my clothes and put them back on. I don't know. So, this is, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. You guys have seen this before. This is all Dorothy's, um, you guys can kind of see here. But this is all Dorothy's uh, workshop or dance shop. The one that's near me. I think someone had actually asked like if I, if I knew of any other places. Honestly, I don't. And that's also like who my my dance teacher, like the, the, the that shop is who my dance teacher recommends. So I don't really know of any other one. Also, if you want to make this, this specific outfit more um, black swan, it's a white leotard that you need. Unfortunately, I got it in a medium and I haven't tried it on since like I've gotten basically like... Since this has been fixed, if you know what I mean, I don't know. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can watch my cancer videos. Um, anyway, <laughs> not to make it like gloomy or anything, I'm just gonna put this on over this. Cute. And now I kind of look kind of like a dancer. I don't know. I just have to do my hair. I was thinking like, should I bring a sweater? But I need, I really need that like little like shrug. A lot of the dance shops that I'm looking online, I can't seem to find. I just find it on Amazon. And the person that did ask about Dorothy's dance shop had said something about like if they have a bunch of different sizes. It's kind of weird because in my clothes, even though these have grown, I'm still a small and a medium. But with dance clothes, I'm an L. 
and I guess that's considering like kids and stuff like that. So I mean, I think that's like something to keep in mind. This is like my go-to sweater. Honestly, they don't have like a lot of sizes, which and it's it's crazy because I mean I guess ballerinas are supposed to be really thin, but like there are ballerinas that aren't that standard. Like honestly, I'm sure this is like a weird topic, but I'm sure in ballet I'm plus size. Um which you know, whatever. It's almost like if I was like <laughs> you have to be like a freaking like model, like thick thin, skinny to be like the body type that's like socially acceptable i guess because that's like, that's all we really see on the screen which i mean i didn't think i was gonna go there today but i mean i guess i'm going there today if you guys have any pointers of like where you like to get your dance clothes anything like that because i know i have like professional people that do ballet comment on here but yeah if you have like trouble finding your clothes or if you feel like ballet clothes are kind of like it's like weird as far as the sizing because i think it's really weird why is it like that you know what i'm saying if i was gonna get fully ready i would make sure though what would i make sure <laughs> i'm sorry i'm spacing out i would make sure i put like a lot of highlight and just like a like a dewy face but we're not doing that and i think i'm gonna watch a uh, luna montana's video so i can get ideas on how to put my hair up it's either a bun or like a french twist and i kind of like wrecked the french twist so now we're adding some dry shampoo i normally like to add this on my second day hair whenever i'm working out my ballet studio is like 20 minutes away from me so i'm going to try to be ready in like 10 minutes normally honestly it could take me like 20 minutes to get ready but i'm really trying here in case you guys were curious which ballet place i go to and this is the name as an adult ballet person like i don't think it's important to do your tight tight run i'm about to say because i'm an adult dancer and we jump around and we just don't do as many things as you know professional dancers do because we're still learning it's okay if you do a loose bun and I'm just keep saying that I'm lazy every time I do a video and every time I say this and then I go to ballet class and then I'm like this is why this is why you should listen to what people on the internet say as far as the hair because it really does help having your hair up and pinned back and pulled back or whatever and I know when I say that like people are cringing I don't really care too much about having the tightest bun I don't know that's what I think I know some of you are gonna come for me because typically you guys one of you guys do Okay, no, this is not how I do it. I'm gonna fix it, probably film it on TikTok, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I wanna show you what I have so far, because this is really behind the scenes, but let me play it for you, and I don't know if you guys can kind of see it too much. I think I did my hair pretty well. Like, look at that, you guys, I actually tried. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because you guys need to watch it, obviously. But now we're just gonna put on our little huggies. This is something that I've heard some teachers say that they're okay with. So basically, I just put these on. I'm gonna take them off right now so I could film a TikTok for it. But these are super cute. These are from Kendra Scott. I got them like half off too. Oh wait, no, these were a gift. But um, I normally get Kendra Scott stuff half off. It's like 50 some degrees outside, so I am going to, it's like 57, so it's actually really not that cold. But I'm just gonna like button this up. Probably just gonna take it off, but um, we're just gonna put it on. And then of course I got my shoes. And then I've talked about this in my last couple videos. Make sure that when you do go to ballet class, bring other shoes besides, or go in with other shoes besides your shoes to dance because then this kind of dirties the floor. I don't think every dance studio is like that, but like, Mine is, and I think that makes sense. Yeah, so I think that's it for the day, you guys. That's kind of all that I really do. I fixed my hair, and I did it higher. Um, I would suggest watching a Luna, a Luna Montana video if you're still kind of, like, new to this and stuff. Like, I just... I don't know. I want to do my, my bun however I want, and then people are like, no, you can't do it like that. I'm like, F, why? Why not? Um, I feel like this kind of doesn't really like go together too much and now i'm just gonna put on my shoes and then head out this is it you guys mm -hmm.